Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous lecture, we have seen how to create the functions, how to create the labels, how to create the buttons and the entry widgets to calculate the age using Keykinter. So now the next task would be to create the grid. Okay, we are using the grid function for placing the widgets at respective positions in a table like structure. So first we will place the date of birth grid. So this should be the first thing to appear. So I will write row equals one and columns equals zero. Next is the day field dot grid. Day field is the entry, correct? So where should the entry be placed? The next is the month grid and month field, correct? So the month is the label and the month field is the entry. So they should be next to each other. So I will write, first let me copy all these things. Then I will edit them. So we need this grid function many times. Okay, now this is the month dot grid, the label, which we have created earlier. So the month label should come in row two, column zero. And the month field should come in row two, column one, that is next to each other. So for this, the row is two, column is zero. The entry should be row two, column one. Next will be the year, year dot grid and year field dot grid. So this should be below the month label and the entry should be below the month entry. So this is row three column zero and this is row three column one. Now, these are the, now what I'm creating is the given day, month and year. So the given date, that is the label below which all these label and entries should appear. So the given date dot grid, row zero, column four. Then,
this is the given day given day is the label so let me edit them first so given day dot grid then given day field dot grid So given day dot grid, given day field dot grid. So this should be in the below row. That is row number one, column three. The next is row number one, column four. So after the day field and day grid, the next is given month and given month field given month given month field the first is row 2 column 3 the second is row 2 column 4 So then finally the given year and given year field And after this, we have to create the result month, result day, 
and result year three. so the next is result age the first is label that is grid row 4 column 2 now the actual labels and entries so result year dot grid So result year dot grid row five column two result year field dot grid row six column two. then result month and result month field so result month dot grid it should be in the next row that is row seven column two then result month field dot grid So this is row eight, column two. <clears throat> then finally, result day and result day field. So these should be in row nine and row 10. Result day, then result day field. We can make it as row nine and row 10.
then finally the clear all entry widget so clear all entry dot grid row 12 column number 2 Then finally, the main loop, GUI dot main loop. So let's see if we have any errors. So you can see the output here. So uh, it looks good, but few things are missing. Okay. So can't invoke grid command. Application has been destroyed. So what is this? Day field dot grid row one column one. Okay. So we will check it from beginning. So from key printer, then message box, then define clear all. So nine field, day, month, year, given day, given month, given year result day result month result year so zero comma end okay this is fine then the check error function if day field dot get equals empty or month field dot get equals empty or year field dot get equals empty or given day field dot get equals empty or given month field dot get equals empty or given year field dot get equals empty so in this case message box dot show error input error then we are calling the clear all function then return minus one this is correct. The next is the calculate age value equals check error if value equals minus one return else birthday equals int day field dot get birth month equals int month field dot get birth year equals int year field dot get then given day equals int given day field dot get then given month equals int given month field dot get given year equals int given year field dot get okay then so at this point of time uh, we will have to check 
how many days each month has. So I had told you, we will have to create a list here containing the number of days in each month. So month equals, so starting from January to December, I will write the number of days in the month. So January has 31, Feb has 30, 28, March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30, July, August 31, then September 30, October 31, then November 30, December 31. So this is the month list. So now we will go to the if part, if birthday greater than given day. So given month should be decremented by one and those many days of that month should be added to the given day so that the given day becomes greater than the birthday. Similarly, if given month, if birth month is greater than given month, we should decrement the year by one and 12 should be added to the given month. So month and birth month minus one is the index. So it's the square bracket. Then while calculating the day, month, and year, calculated day equals given day minus birthday, calculated month equals given month minus birth month, calculated year equals given year minus birth year. Then we have to insert the calculated values in the proper entry widgets. So result day field dot insert at the index 10 string of calculated day result month field dot insert at the index 10 string of calculated month. Similarly result year field dot insert at the index 10 string of calculated year. If name equals main, Create the root, root.configure, root.title, root.geometry. Then for everything, we have to create the labels first. So DOB is the main label below which the labels and entry for those DOB will appear. So DOB equals label on the root text equals date of birth, background equals blue. Then given date equals label. On the root, 
text equals given date, background equals blue. Then day, month, and year equals label, text, and background color. Then so DOB and given date appear next to each other, and day, month, year appear below DOB and given day, given month, given year appear below given date. So given day equals label GUI text, given month, given year on the label, on the GUI with the text and the background color. Then finally the result year, result month, result day are also labels on the root with some text and background color. So after the labels, we should create two buttons to calculate the age and to clear the existing values. So result age equals button on the GUI, the text is result age, the foreground is black, the background is red. So command equals calculate age. Similarly, clear all entry equals button on the GUI, text equals clear all foreground equals black, background equals red, command equals clear all. Then we have to create the entries. So Total nine entries we need. So day field, month field, year field, given day field, given month field, given year field, then result day field, result month field, result year field. Then after creating the entries, we will use the grid functions to place them. So something was, was wrong in this code. So the first one is date of birth dot grid. 
so the label which we created at the first should be used this grid dob dot grid row zero column one okay So actually, this should be on the top. So it should be row one, no, row zero, column one. It is just a label. So dob.grid, the first label to appear should be on the row zero and column one. Then this second label is day dot grid so this is with the entry but the first one is just the label so it is row zero column one then now day dot grid row one column zero day field dot grid row one column one okay now it's correct then month grid month field dot grid row two column zero row two column one then year dot grid row three column one so year dot grid So this one, the year dot grid should be row three column zero because you can see they both are in the same grid coordinates. So one is at the beginning and the next is after that. So row three column zero, then the next one is row three column one. Now it's perfect. Then given date dot grid. So this is another label below which all the given information will appear. So row zero column four, then given day dot grid row one column three, given day field dot grid row one column four, then given month row two column three, then row two column four, then given year dot grid row three column three, then row three column four. Then finally the result h dot grid row four, column two, then row five, column two, row six, column two, row seven, row eight, row nine, row 10, all are column two. Then finally the clear entry should be row 12, column two. Now let's execute. So let's execute. So we have got an error, clear all is not defined. So yes, we changed the spelling of clear all to small a. So that's a mistake. So clear all, when we call the function, it should be clear all, -L, small a. So yes, so we have got this. Now let's enter the values. The information when he was born, day three, month, 
3 and here is 87 then given day you can use the tab button to switch between the widgets so now let's enter the given information given day is if i say 12 9 2020 now what will be the age in years months and days you can see here 33 years six months and nine days correct so it's working so clear all if i give then everything must be cleared okay so like this you can enter the input so if i give the wrong information 3 3 2020 20, then 2 2 87 then it would be a wrong thing so it's showing in the negative values so we have not written the code to handle this but we have written the code only when there is empty entry widget so for example you can give an entry widget which is empty then you should get a error message from the message box so hope this is clear Try to practice this. If you have any doubts, you can mail us, all right? Thank you.